This is a brief demonstration that should help you get started using Sage Knowledge, a collection of subject handbooks and encyclopedias. Sage Knowledge is a good alternative if your professor says no Wikipedia, or they want you to use a book source and not a web page. Although these are available on the web, they include the content of subject encyclopedias and handbooks from a scholarly publisher that you'd find on library shelves and provide brief but well-written college-level information to help start your research. Here's the opening screen of Sage Knowledge. The articles included here are different from a general interest encyclopedia in that they're written for a college-level audience by specialists and scholars in a particular discipline. Here I'll search for information about the topic of anxiety as an example. Notice it looks like a Google search here at the top with a box where you type in what you're looking for. But all you're searching through is the content of the included Sage titles. On the next screen are the results of the search. Articles from the subject encyclopedias and handbooks included in Sage that discuss anxiety. Notice you get articles from several titles and from different aspects of the issue. Click the title link on this list to read the article. The content here is brief, factual, to the point, like articles in Wikipedia. The big difference between these articles and those in Wikipedia, as I said, is that the SAGE articles are written by experts in the field, and they're signed, so you know who's responsible for the information and can cite it in a college class. You can download a PDF copy of the article by clicking that button here at the top. Click this quotation marks button, and you'll be able to cut and paste citation information into your list of sources, so you can keep track of what you're using and avoid plagiarism problems. At the end, you'll see a list of references or further readings that can provide you with additional reliable sources about the topic. Many times, the books and articles cited here can be found in the Collin Library. Remember that even a college-level subject encyclopedia is just a starting point for your information gathering and research, and that depending on your paper or project, you'll probably need to use additional books, articles, and information found on authoritative websites. If you have any questions about using the Collin Library's online collections, be sure to contact me. Good luck with your research. If you need proof that you viewed this tutorial for a lab credit or other assignment, you can download or print a certificate of completion at the URL on your screen.